some government and business leaders are saying one thing but doing another. Simply put, they are lying. We all know that human activities are changing the atmosphere in unexpected and in unprecedented ways. Climate change is not a problem that can be solved by one group of countries acting in isolation. The United States remains firmly committed to a strong binding target that will reduce our own emissions by nearly 30% from what they would otherwise be. We pledged at the conclusion of the Kyoto Conference that we would sign this historic agreement. We need to make radical changes in the world economy and in the way we all live. President Clinton has broken his solemn promise to the world community and he has to come back with a better proposal in Kyoto. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure why we're considered the bad boys. The use of trade restriction is not, in my view, advisable. Australia now stands ready to assume its responsibility in responding to this challenge. The world is watching us. The next generation is counting on us. For the first time in history, all major economies have come together to accept their responsibility to take action to confront the threat of climate change. The EU is not the problem. The emissions of the EU 27 have been going down since 1990. Rest assured, if we fail, future generations will not and should not forgive those who ignore this moment. L'accord de Paris pour le climat est accepté. the strongest, most ambitious global climate agreement ever negotiated. It was an accord that took literally decades to achieve. You know, we, have not, we have not had the results that we had wanted for the last 24 years. We have to act now. We have to implement the policies now because it is a generational transition we have to go through. Together we are working to drive trillions of dollars in support of transition across 10 of the most emitting and polluting industries. So we can all get down to work together to rescue this precious planet and save the threatened future of our young people.